Hello everybody, I'm John Self and welcome to Cell Perspective, a weekly video with information and insight to help you manage your career. Today I want to talk to you about two things, your career brand and your life story. Guess what? Those two things are intrinsically linked. What is your career brand? Well, your career brand is every day, every week, every month, every year. An accumulation of things that you said, you did, how you treated people, how you treated your customers, how, treat, how you treated uh, stakeholders, how you treated the people closest to you. Those things all come together to accumulate and form your brand. And you don't necessarily get to write it based on your behavior, but you can edit it daily, weekly, monthly. Part of it is by changing the way you deal with people by taking a broader view of how you act and what you're trying to accomplish with your life and your career. Now, there are some people that spend a lot of time and effort and they create this incredibly interesting story on LinkedIn and they think that's good enough. Well, it might be, but the LinkedIn profile has to tie back to your life story. You have to be able to show people that what you're saying in LinkedIn is the way you act every day, every week, every month, every year. How you treat people, how you treat customers, how you treat your employees. Now, there are a lot of people who say, well, you know, I don't have time for that nonsense and I don't really have time to really pay that much attention. I've got a, a big organization to run. I have an organization to turn around. I have to get results. And sometimes you have to be a mean SOB to get results. Well, there's a little truth to that. But you have to understand that if you don't pay attention to your brand and if you don't think about the accumulative effect of all those things you do say and how you treat people come together at the end of the game to form what people know about you and think about you, then man, you've missed the boat. And there are a lot of people I know that are sitting on the sidelines today because they haven't paid attention to their brand in terms of how they develop it every week, every month, every year. They were on the sidelines because they didn't pay attention and they didn't guard their brand, their reputation, zealously. These are important things. How you treat people, how you live your life. You know, sometimes people can say, oh, I'm not interested in the community, I'm going home to see my wife, I don't have time for that stuff. All of that stuff matters. All of that stuff matters. So you need to stop and think, what do I want my brand to be? How do I want people to see me when I'm not in the room? What do I want them to say about me? You don't want to be a successful CEO who's on the sidelines because you didn't take care of your brand, that you abdicated that responsibility to someone else, a recruiter, the gossip, whatever. They wrote your script and you don't like it, but there's not a lot you can do about it. So don't take that chance. Don't make that mistake. I hope this information has been helpful. If you want to reach out to me with questions or advice, I'm at AskTheRecruiter at JohnGSelf.com. Now, if you're facing termination or restructuring and you feel like you're going to need help making the transition, call me. We can help. You can reach us at CareerTransitions at JohnGSelf.com. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next week.